You're looking. You're looking at me and at the camera. All right, one of those. Yep. Yeah. Are we rolling? Oh, hi. We're rolling, and we're here with Jamie Castner, the producer of uh, a Canadian film that is in TIFF this year called *The Skyjacker's Tale*. Indeed. Hello. Thank you Hello. for having me. It's a pleasure to have you. Tell us what is the Skyjackers' Tale. The Skyjackers' Tale is a um, it's a documentary thriller oh. about one of the most wanted American fugitives in Cuba, who hijacked a plane successfully to get there, after being convicted of murdering eight people on a golf course owned by the Rockefellers. This has suddenly taken a very serious turn. Well, that's why I kept my sunglasses yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Well, know? this is serious business. Yeah, yeah. You don't want people to you recognize you. Exactly. I'm in disguise now. I'm actually a tall blonde woman. <laughs> so, uh, not unlike your founder. Yes. That's, you're actually Anita Adams. Yes. and that, But but I'm on the FBI's most wanted list, and so you're this is how I address. Witness protection. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, this is an interesting <laughs> hybrid genre, a documentary thriller. Yes. Well, I think there is, happily for the film, True crime thrillers are kind of having a moment in the sun, you know, with uh, things like The Jinx yep. and uh, Making of a Murderer. And I was hooked on that show. Yeah, very addictive, strong things, and I think this, uh, this film is its own twist on that uh, tradition. And there is, of course, a history of this in, in film and documentary, specifically starting with Errol Morris's uh, The Thin Blue Line, mm -hmm. which he called, you know, uh, I can't remember, but it was, he didn't use the word documentary because right. there were recreations, as, we all, as all the other films I mentioned, and my own use as well. So it Amazing. is kind of a hybrid, yeah. Yeah, it's, it sounds very interesting. And you already had two screenings, so how did those go? I only went to one because it was the public one that I was meant to go to. They both went very well. The, the opening night had a, a huge crowd in one of the biggest uh, cinemas uh, at the festival. And uh, it's funny because previously I've made um, kind of comic films, comic ironic films. My last film at TIFF was called The Secret Disco Revolution, which I believe you people kindly Me covered too. and supported. Thank you. Um, and, um, well, as the title would suggest, it was a completely different animal. <laughs> So I'm used to sitting in, in a screening. Of course, the first public screening is very dramatic for a mm -hmm. filmmaker to see it with an audience after you've been sitting with it alone with the editor for six months. But I'm usually expecting with the kind of films I've traditionally done to be waiting for the laughs. Well, there are in fact laughs in this film because the lead character is a fascinating kind of funny, sexy, scary. He's a real star. Um, but they come very late in the film. And, and so there were no laughs, but you could feel that the audience was with it. They were quiet. There was a hush because yeah. they were wanting to know what, what was happening next, as they're meant to in a thriller. So I was delighted. I want to know what happens next, so I'm going to have to see it. And so are all you guys going to have to see it when it comes out. The Skyjacker's Tale.